previous on the vertical machine centers, uh, 60 sets of calipers would be taking up to three weeks solid production on a single day shift. On our first two weeks production on the Matsura, we managed to complete 60 sets within the first four days. My name's James Gazard, I'm the Commercial Director here at Wes Engineering Solutions. We are basically a precision engineering company, but we specialise in a couple of particular areas. So we have traditionally always supplied uh, resistance welding consumables to the automotive sector, and we also specialise in machining hard metals, so tungsten carbides, ink canals, hardened steels, those sorts of things, for a range of different industries. So about five or six years ago, we decided we wanted to diversify away from the reliance on the automotive sector, and we wanted to develop our own range of products to move away from being a subcontract precision engineering company into somebody who had a bit more control over our own production uh, volumes and, and capacity, etc. So we developed our own range of brake calipers for classic cars, cars dating back to the 1960s and 1970s, and we started to produce those calipers on our own machines here, uh, in amongst the other work that we were also producing. So we've realised over time that it's a different type of production. Producing for customers who are retail customers who order off the website is different for uh, than producing for blue chip customers who are placing long term contracts etc. We needed stock in place and we were struggling to keep up with the demands as, as our brand grew and our reputation grew, sales were increasing and we just didn't have the stock in place to service those customers quickly. We were basically running free machines non-stop on uh, three, four and five axis machines producing brake calipers and initially we were using them for maybe 50% of the time, it ended up we were using them all the time for as, as many hours as a day as we could produce brake calipers and we still weren't keeping up with demand, we needed more capacity. We couldn't just go for another VMC, we were running out of space and we needed to up production dramatically, we needed to future proof production and that's why we went for the Matsura H+. Hello, my name is Daniel Hutchings. I'm the Operations Director for WES and um, I run the production facility here at WES. It's, a, it's a definitely a step change for us. Um, having never had a horizontal, it's, it's a big change. Uh, but the production engineers that we've got have you know, taken the challenge on board and you know, we've made some real changes to the company. Uh, so the, when, when we actually took on the Matsura, it was quite, quite a bit of a challenge figuring out what kind of setups we actually wanted in the first place. But after a little while, we managed to land on that we could do a variety of different jobs using a very similar form of setups if we standardised our billets um, and that made it quite a lot easier between different jobs. I think Matsura's experience in automation was uh, one of the deciding factors why we went with Matsura. Um, compared to our other brands that we use, it just seems they've got real expertise in that area. Uh, when machining calipers on the vertical machine centres, we were all using single billets. Um, when speaking to Matsura, they suggested other machining methods with tagging systems and using two parts per billet, which we've adopted with the new machine and it has made a difference and allowed us to run significantly more hours. So previously I'd be coming in and having to be running a machine, essentially standing at the machine for a long periods of time because the, the time between actual opening the door and spindle time was around 40 minutes. So now having the tombstone set up, I can set up within about two hours of the day the entire day's worth of work and then walk away and carry on doing the, the other jobs on the other machines while this reliably runs in the background. Within a month of installation um, we was running the machine up to 18 hours a day um, compared to a single shift at eight hours which we was previously doing on some of the vertical machining centres. When our, our first week of full production on calipers uh, we quadrupled the amount of output in, in a week solely down to the out of hours work you know, throughout the week and into the weekend. Set up for the calipers on the vertical machine centres was approximately eight to 10 hours every time we'd have a change of um, product. Um, with having the 120 position tool changer on the Matsura, all tools are preset uh, with setting times being reduced down to one to two hours. It's great to be walking out of the factory and actually seeing a machine running with nobody there, actually, you know, manning it, which, you know, it's, it's a big step change for us and long may it continue. Now that we've got the Matsura H Plus in place, we can hit that holy trinity of keeping the costs down for the customers by running it lights out, uh, hitting the quality that we need by uh, the machine's obviously very precise and, and offers great quality products, and we can keep the lead times low and keep, get stock in place for customers so we can deliver quickly.